Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm just going to make a real quick video. Uh, before I get started on this video, which is just going to be really simple, a uh, real quick bit of advice. If, um, if you guys don't review your guys' stuff, you're going to forget it. And you're going to forget it at like the worst times. So let me just start off by saying do yourself a favor and review your material as often as you can because I mean, if you take a class and it's been a while since you've done it, you're, you're just, it's going to be so difficult to remember how to do anything. So that's my bit of advice. Uh, do with it what you will. Uh, let me just tell you, I recommend that if you guys ever do decide to, uh, I don't know, go for a job interview, just do yourself a favor, review the material, because it's not hard to review it. Uh, but if you don't review it, you're going to... You're gonna kick yourself in the butt. So anyhow, here is a real simple, simple problem. Let's say you're 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 at a job interview and the interviewer says, "Hey, uh, I want you to answer this question." Let's say you have a 12 volt power supply. So let's say here we go. Let's say we have a 12 volt power supply, right? And then he says, "Okay, I, tell me something. You you're only working with resistors here. How on earth can you get? Uh, you want only." three ohms, okay? Or not three ohms, I'm sorry. You only want three volts. So how do you do this? Well, okay, how do you do this? It's actually not difficult at all. But if you're on the spot and you get nervous, you might forget, especially if you haven't done this stuff in a while. So recollecting it might be a pain in the butt. So anyhow, let me show you how to do it. So let's pretend you can only use resistors, right? So those are my two resistors and here is my ground. So this is R1, and this is resistance of the load. You can call it RL, R1, R2, whatever, it doesn't matter. No, don't call it R1, because you already used R1. But you can use R2 or RL. RL just means load. So how do I find my three ohms? So I put a lead here, and then I put another lead here. And right across here, I want the resistance of the load to be equal to three ohms. Now, how on earth does this happen? Well, it's actually not too bad. Whoops, oh, I lost it. Okay, so how do we do this? Simple. So you're going to get uh, the voltage that you want. So we're going to call this the, the voltage of RL. is actually going to be equal to the voltage of the supply multiplied by the resistance of the load divided by the total resistance, okay? Now, right now, I can make R1 and RL whatever I want. But right now, oh, wait, what did I do? Oh, look at this, I put an ohm here. No, not ohms, I want a volt here, right? Because this is, from here to here, I want three volts. And I know I already have 12 volts. So, what do I do? So let's go right here. So you notice that we know this and we know this. And we don't know either one of these two, but we can make them whatever we want. And so we will. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, move the voltage of the supply over. So we're going to get the voltage of the resistor RL divided by the voltage of the supply. And that's going to be equal to the resistance of the load divided by the total resistance. Now at this point, it's actually really, really, really easy. Uh, we, could do, we could solve this many ways. So we know right now that we have... Uh, let me scroll down a little bit so I have a little more space. Not that much. So right now we know that the voltage on the resistor, we want it to be 3 volts, right? We also know the voltage of the supply, we know that it's 12 volts. Okay. Now we have the resistance on the load and the total resistance. So now at this point, it's nothing more than a ratio problem, if we want to make it that. So we know that well, we even want this resistor we want to know what this resistor should be. Well, right off the bat, we could say, okay, well, we can make it 3 ohms. 3 ohms. If this resistor is 3 ohms and this the total resistance, so long as that total resistance is equal to 12. So you can do it that way. Really cheesy easy. Okay? Let's say you don't want to do it that way. Let's say you want different values for it. Well, in that case, what you do is you have to multiply the total resistance over. So you get the total res or the resistance on the load would be equal to the 3 volts divided by the 12 volts. These units cancel. 
and you're just left with multiplying it by the total resistance. So let's say, let's say I have a total resistance of, I don't know, let's say the total resistance is total uh, 12. Let's say it is 12 uh, ohms. So right now, 3 divided by 12, we get 3 divided by 12, and let's say this total resistance is equal to 12. 12 ohms. Well, the ohms actually, oh, sorry, that's a bit sloppy. Let me fix that. So you'd get uh, 12 ohms. So automatically, this 12 cancels with that one. And the resistance of the load that you want would be equal to, let me scroll down just a little bit. Resistance of the load would then be equal to 3 ohms. Really cheesy easy, okay? So do yourself a favor, review these problems. I'm going to make a couple more videos and just post them. But let me tell you, do yourself a favor, review this stuff. Because if you don't review it, you will forget it. And you might not totally forget it, but if you're in a pinch and you need to remember it really quickly, you won't remember it. So do yourself that favor, review it, especially when you uh, go to interview for uh, positions. Make sure that you review it before you go there, because if you just think you can just straight out wing it, sometimes you can and sometimes you just won't, especially if you haven't done it in a while. So. That's my two cents. Do what you will with it, and you guys have a good day and good luck in your classes.